What's up, everybody? In basketball, shot selection is a big deal. It wins games and it loses games. And honestly, taking bad shots is embarrassing. Just listen to what these commentators have to say about Andrew Bynum's three. A three-point attempt at the end of the game, but what are you doing here? Well, the shot clock wasn't even close to being an issue. I mean, they had Your coach will get mad at you for taking poor shots. And if you do, you might find yourself on the bench like our buddy Andrew Bynum here. In basketball, there are good shots. And then there are bad shots, like this one. In this video, we are going to answer the question, what is a good shot in basketball? We will delve into the intricacies of shot selection from an analytical standpoint. We will explore various shot types and their efficiency, breaking it down step by step. So let's get started. Let's start with layups and threes, two of the most fundamental shots in basketball. Layups, shot near the rim, are highly efficient, averaging around 1.22 points per possession due to their high shooting percentage. Three-pointers average around 1.05 points per possession. So, layups, although worth two points, are still slightly more efficient than all three-pointers on average. I understand all players are different. We will get to that later in the video. Even when you compare layups to only wide open threes, which is is considered when a defender is over six feet away, layups still come out on top. But basketball is a complex game, and I would be naive to stop there. However, when you look at only contested layups versus threes, there is a different story. When defenders challenge the shot at the rim, the shooting percentage drops significantly, making contested layups less efficient. This completely changes the shot selection dynamic, as contested layups are less efficient by points per possession than threes. Now these are only averages, and all basketball players are not created equally. Sometimes the numbers don't matter. Listen in on what Chris Webber and Marv Albert have to say on the subject. That's the frustration with this Rockets team. You have a step back three by House Jr. who should not be taking that shot. And then on the other end, you get a three. That's a six point swing. Just because, just because someone on paper says to take it, you need to understand your shooting percentage and how much realistically you can make per game. In other words, play within yourself. Like Marv Albert said, play within yourself. Take Shaq, for example. The guy next to him is Arnold Schwarzenegger. He is six foot three, 240 pounds, a massive human being by any standards, unless he's standing next to Shaq. Shaq is seven foot two, 330 pounds, with one of the worst shooting forms in history. For him, this bar graph is not true. A contested layup is better than any three he will ever take. Now let's talk mid-range jumpers. Not taken at the rim, but still inside the three-point line, they have historically been a staple of basketball. They require skill, footwork, and a reliable jump shot, but sadly, they are vastly inefficient when compared to other shots as they only average 0.82 points per possession. It's important to note that shot selection, just like three-point shooting or Shaq shooting a layup, can vary depending on the player's abilities. Some players, like Kevin Durant, possess exceptional shooting skills and mid-range touch, making their mid-range shots highly efficient, even when compared to other basketball shots. KD averages 1.12 points per possession, which demonstrates that shot selection should be player dependent. Despite all these shot types, the best and most efficient shot in basketball has not yet been stated the free throw. According to league average by points per possession, free throws reign supreme, coming in at 1.55 points per possession for the league average free throw percentage. Now again, take this with a grain of salt because some players like our buddy Shaq can't shoot free throws. Shaq, for his career, shot 52% from the free throw line, putting him more than 20% below league average. For players like Shaq, a free throw is still a decent scoring opportunity compared to mid-range jumpers, but not as efficient as threes layups, or even Kevin Durant's mid-range jumper. Another big deal about shot selection is that it can tear any team apart. Even the Golden State Warriors, who have exceptional chemistry, take a look at what Kendrick Perkins has to say about the matter. There, if you look at them across the board and watch how they're playing, they're playing a whole bunch of individual basketball. It's not a team anymore. <laughs> it's guys playing with hidden agendas. It was yet, uh, late in the, second, uh, yet in the second half last night. I watched Klay Thompson pull up for two bad shots 
on, on the other end, if you'd have watched the body language of Draymond Green along with the body language of Jordan Poole, they're having these problems. And then all of a sudden, you see Jordan Poole and, and, and uh, Andrew Wiggins, they get paid. All of a sudden, they feel like they need a bigger role. But check these two plays out right here. That's one. Clay pull up again. Look at Draymond under the basket. He don't even get back on defense. He's not even interested. Look, he's hanging his head. My conclusion, hunt the paint, as layups are very efficient. Driving to the paint also provides more opportunities to get fouled and shoot the most efficient shot in basketball, the free throw. Lastly, driving to the rim opens up opportunities for three-point shooters on the perimeter. So hunt the paint and don't get into the habit of settling. Lastly, the worst end to a possession is a turnover. Turnovers come in at the least efficient of all possessions at 0.0, .0 points per possession. At the end of the day, any shot is better than no shot. That concludes our analytical breakdown of shot selection. I hope you found this information insightful. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating basketball content. And remember, as long as you are not shooting shots like these, you'll probably be okay. Uh, headlines the Clippers have this year with all the injuries. Are there. You know, the Lakers have had their fair share too. We talked about how to be able to get that steal. Tom Garlett would have been wondering where he was as he walked onto the court so early in the game. He got this straight as he goes back. Up oh, there you go, chances at the conga. He's only 6 of 16. Oh. Here it's too flat. H39, so we'll see what happens with that. Oh, oh, oh. Got the flagrant one, and that's why we see Hayes. That shot right there has got a hitch in it. That's, that's <laughs> one of those lane violation shots right there. Oh, he didn't catch any iron. He'll catch it from the crowd. This is Jordan is 43% at the line and did not touch anything. He came closer to the American flag. chance to ice the game and Bargnani for reasons only known to him took the three picked off and here's Rondo with Wade racing back Rondo well he's not up with the second unit he sees Wade he looked over his left shoulder and instead of going up strong anticipated you got Russell Westbrook with the basketball one of the best defensive teams in the league that's a good shot but Simmons missed the dunk the building is stunned. A rare, complete breakdown. Man, he made a terrific steal playing in his very first game of the season, regular season or preseason. David Fisdale's reaction. Bell gets ahead of the pack and oh, he missed the jam. Wide open. <laughs> you got to think about that. That's two points right there that you don't want is with the hustle in Stockton tonight. That game will tip at 9 o'clock Memphis time. And Livingston blows the tippy. Austin dribbles through a few defenders. And look who comes up with the basketball. And he misses the slam dunk. And it's blocked from behind by Beverly. He's taught to finish the no play problem. out. No problem. Oh, my God. Whoops. This shot clock is down to three. Bulls a bit too casual on this possession. They turn it over. And here's Watson with the... Oh, he blows it. James now for Caldwell Pope back for LeBron. Two Let me hit him. Or maybe if I cut hard enough, I can take a couple defenders with me. Rashawn will be open be from behind. Wow. Okay. Wow. The second air ball among four free throws for DeAndre. and slashing so remember in the playoffs especially the last round against portland comes in and another his arms up to the basket and that's what you have to do you have to make him shoot free throws tabak was on the roster of the rockets in the mid 90s but he never played a minute and... play game one and you realize we might have to do whatever we have to do you see shaq go up there and... 
In one stretch in the Portland series, O'Neal made 15. The player. That's why he was the most improved player in the NBA this year with moves like. Missed him. 